Welcome to Sector One Gallery. Um, this is my second home or my third child, so this is a very personal journey for me that started about three years and a half ago uh, from a lifelong love for art. So I wanted this space to be a meeting space for artists, art creators and art lovers to come together and contribute to the evolution of the contemporary art in this way. This was the purpose I started this gallery and this is what guides me every day through everything that we do here in Sector One Gallery. Everything started with a group exhibition of seven young artists from Cluj. Radu Bayes, Ișvan Betukar, Norbert Filip, Pavel Grosu, Lucian Popoila, Marcel Rusu and Alexandra Sherban, alongside our guest artist Ioan Sbărciu. Personal exhibitions of each artist from the selection of the gallery followed and the second group exhibition of the same artist, Bluebird, was the event that closed this first moment of Sector One Gallery. This entire phase was about painting, its profound meaning and message, its beauty and one of the most dedicated painting community from Romania. Last year, we stepped into a new curatorial stage and this new beginning was represented by Mother Tongue, a group exhibition coagulating the vision of no less than 17 contemporary artists on the universal language of drawing. Later in the year, we organized Conscious Beauty, the first gallery exhibition of a part of the Yvonne Hassan patrimony encapsulating her own life in a visual diary full of the scent of the 50s. 2020 started with the duo show State of Grace Betukar Gaspar by artists Ishvan Betukar, painter, and Silard Gaspar, sculptor, performance artist, and professional boxer. Conceived as a conversation between mediums, the exhibition aims to reveal something from the creative intimacy of the two artists in an exclusive first-time dialogue between two artist friends. After a struggle with all the COVID-related restrictions, we finally managed to display frame the exhibition you see now in the gallery, uh, an Arancia Echeveria and Carlos Caballero duo show uh, curated by Domenico De Chirico. Um, we planned this show for a while, but we had to push it a couple of times, and luckily we have been still able to, to organize it this year. Um, and I have to say that it's, um, it, it's one of the shows that brought a lot of joy to, to me and to the visitors of the gallery. To quote Domenico, frame is exactly what grants a thing to be because framing means choosing its contour, uh, designing a perimeter of meeting and structuring a shape. As you will see throughout the exhibition, the visual dialogue between Arancha's artworks and Carlos's artworks, it's literally a dialogue in which both artists are provoking each other, are um, uh, communicating with each other, are forcing the limits of each other. So throughout the exhibition, the, the visual exercise that we are, we are being a part of, that we are being witness to, it's um, very rewarding. Carlos Caballero is born in 1983 and he is a Cuban artist living and working in Ghent, Belgium. For many years, his practice developed around painting and drawing, oscillating between quasi-formalist grid systems, organic shapes and geometric elements. His approach to painting is slow and reflective. The works suggest the spelling, grammar and vocabulary used to tell stories. Reminiscent of hieroglyphs or cave paintings, they appear to portray contemporary or future mythologies, looking for fundamental and universal themes that go beyond generations, cultures and languages. Carlos's work seemed to manifest an extremely metaphysical rigor, his pictorial avant-scene oscillating between almost conventional grid systems, seemingly expressionist symbols, modernist abstractions, looting extravagances, and geometric shapes. Arancia Echeverria is born in 1975 
and she is a French artist living in Romania. Since 2013, she has developed an artistic practice related to the modernist architecture of her studio in Bucharest. Whether it is painting, object, installations, or video montages, her works are the result of a thorough analysis of the geometry of the space. The sublime dissolution of matter, subsisting in Arancha's works, breathes into every concave space, into every vacuum created by the material intensity. Her works seem to be true aesthetic manifestos in which the structure decants concurrently engendering mystical and occult references. Thank you for visiting. It was a joy having you here and it, I'm really glad that I get to tell you the story of our gallery and I hope to see you again very soon. Bye.